Hi, it's Jenny, artist in residence for Imagine Crafts. Today I'm going to show you how to use Imagine Crafts products with fabric. The first part of my video will make an easy dimensional ornament that's fun by itself, or you can add it to your larger projects like I did. Then I'll go into a little bit more detail for the mixed media wall hanging. I'm working on a piece of linen that's from a thrift store tablecloth that was stained so I picked it up for like 50 cents and I stamped my image with Memento Lux and heat set it. And I colored the image using API which is the all-purpose ink and the Fantastics and if you haven't used these products you're going to love them. You just need to dip the Fantastic in the ink and just color like you would a crayon and it gets great coverage and it doesn't change the hand of the fabric. I went back in with the Fabrico markers and just added some more details and went over some of the stamped lines on my butterfly wings just to make them stand out a little bit more. I didn't really worry too much about staying in the lines on my butterfly because I knew I was going to be cutting this out. So this is a great technique that you can just be really free with and not too fussy. Even after these inks dry, it's so supple and soft, it's very easy to sew through. So I decided to add some seed beads to the butterfly wings. And you can really add as much embellishment as you'd like. Um, seed beads were great, but you could also do embroidery stitches or some ribbon embroidery. I mounted the butterfly to felt and stuffed the wings with a little bit of cotton and then just cut out around the edges. At this point, you could use the butterfly as is, um, add some ribbon to hang it as an ornament, or use it for whatever projects you'd like to add it to. For the canvas, I gathered some vintage textiles, um, laces and linens, and just put the layers together with a thin coat of um, Venetian plaster, but you could also use gesso if you didn't have the plaster. After that was dry, I laid a stencil over the canvas and used the Memento Lux ink and just an ink blusher to add some areas of interest um, randomly on the canvas. And after using the Memento Lux ink, I heat set it. I love adding vintage script to this type of project. So I inked up a rubber stamp and instead of using the acrylic block for it, I just laid it down. Um, I like doing that if I'm just doing random parts of the stamp more than having it on a block. And I roughly drew where my image was going to be for the, the face and just painted that area with some white gesso so that it wouldn't have the background across the face. And then I applied Venetian plaster with a putty knife and then carefully pulled that off and let that dry completely before I moved on to the next step. So when that was completely dry, then I laid my stencil back over the raised images just to act as a guide. And I went back with Memento Lux ink and um, the ink blusher and just use this to color those raised areas. And then I just pulled the stencil away and heat set the ink so that it was good and dry before I went on to the next step. And this is where the real fun began. I used the um, API inks and the Fantastics to color the face. And I started with just a coat completely of the Tuscan Beige, which was a really light, fleshy color. And I actually just let this dry overnight and came back to it the next day. And I built up a lot of the, the face color with the sand color as well. And then after I had the basic colors, then I came back in with the greens and the purples and the browns to add a lot of um, shadows and depth to the image. And while you're doing this, you just want to remember where your light source is and where your shadows are going to be. And just let your shadows be reflections of other things that are around her. 
um, there's a lot of green shadows in my finished piece and I had the green butterfly so that let me um, bring some of that color in as well to incorporate it. And here you can see a lot of those colors that I did bring in to create the depth and the shadows. I used molding paste and the headdress stencil to add this to the face and after the um, molding paste was dry I did put the stencil back over on top to add as my guide again for coloring with the API ink and I just used um, some of the blues and greens and went back and shaded it and after that was dry I went in with the gold API which is very beautiful and metallic and added some details and I didn't want it to be too bright so I used a paper towel to um, remove some of the excess ink so that it had that time-worn fresco type look to it. And to finish this up I just added some crystals to the headpiece and sewed the butterfly on. Thanks for stopping by. For more inspiration be sure to follow Imagine Crafts at ImagineCrafts.com on Pinterest and on Facebook.